Before we begin tonight's award ceremony, I would ask that the captain and the assistant captains to please come forward for a special presentation. Thank you everyone for being here. I just want to start with uh, a special thanks for uh, someone who puts her heart and soul in this organization, countless hours. I um, just want to show our appreciation for you, Jamie. Uh, we, we can't tell you how much we appreciate what you do for us and uh, this whole team and organization couldn't stand without you, so thank you. It's a, it's a long year, and there's a lot going on, and obviously Jane's the backbone, and uh, we're so grateful for everything in for us at and away from the rain. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's pretty difficult to uh, uh, handle our special group of guys. Uh, I think we're a pretty interesting group, and for her to continuously put together events for us and um, for us to get out in the community, um, it's awesome. We just want to say thank you, Jamie. Uh, yeah, kind of. Just, I think they all uh, said it all. But you know, we really appreciate everything you do for us, and uh, you're really the backbone of this organization. And wouldn't be the same without you. Thank you for listening. <laughs> First, the CCHL recognized Dustin Traylon as general manager of the 2018-2019 season. Dustin puts his heart and soul into building a well-rounded and respectable team, and works tirelessly to make sure that the best product is out on the ice each and every night. Unfortunately, Dustin could not join us tonight as he had a, had a league meeting in Ottawa. So we would ask that Hanny please accept this award on behalf of Dustin. Next, for the second consecutive season, the CCHL recognized our head coach, Jesse Winchester, with the honor of Coach of the Year. With only being part of this organization for a short time, Jesse has truly elevated the level of play, the level of commitment, and the level of dedication that it takes to be a brothel brave. Jesse is one of the most respected and hardworking coaches around, and we're beyond proud of his efforts and hard work. Congratulations, Jesse. cares as much as you guys do about progressing and um, working hard and just accepting the uh, high expectations we have for you guys in regards to the work ethic, commitment, and all that stuff. So, um, you know, you put your heart on the line every day. Um, didn't end up the way we had envisioned it this year, but, um, you know, hats off to, to the progression you guys made from day one. It's really remarkable, and it's been uh, a true honor and pleasure to, uh, to work alongside you. The guys leaving. Um, the three that I had the pleasure of coaching two years, you know, the, the, the culture change or the culture that you guys have helped instill in this group um, will, will, will be missed, your efforts in doing that, you know. Um, it's really hard for me to say goodbye to you guys just seeing the blood, sweat, and tears that you put into it. And to the guys coming up, learn from them, and uh, we're in a great spot at the next year, so thank you. Next, we would like to call up Liam Soulier, who was named the top CCHL Goaltender of the Year, boasting a record of 26-8-1, a save percentage of 930, and a goals against average of 2.13. Congratulations, Liam. Simon Mack with the Jeff McLean Memorial Outstanding Midget Prospect Award for the 2018-2019 season. Congratulations, Simon Mack. Yeah. 
and he said be easy with his hands next time. <laughs> next, the league recognized the top players of the 2018-2019 graduating class, and this season the J.P. and Taylor Memorial Graduating Player Award goes to Eric Fade. Next is the CCHL All-Star Team winners. The second team All-Star representative, defenseman Simon Mack. The first team All-Star general manager, Dustin Traylon. First team All-Star head coach, Jesse Winchester. First team All-Star goaltender, Liam Soulier. First team All-Star forward, Eric Faith and representing the All-Star Team graduating players, forward Eric Faith. The CCHL2 also named Tiki's head coach, Andrew Dixon, the CCHL coach of the 2018-2019 season, as well as named head coach of the first All-Star Team. The turnaround that the Tier 2 team saw this past season was truly remarkable. And this is just a reflection of Andrew's efforts, commitment, time, and passion for the game. Andrew has been an incredible addition to our entire organization, and we're very proud of his accomplishments, and we look forward to seeing what Andrew will bring to the table for next season. Again, congratulations, Andrew. The CCHL2 Volunteer of the Year Award. This person is at the rink what seems like 24-7. He washes jerseys, towels, fills water bottles, cheers on the players, and does every single thing that is asked of him without hesitation. He is one of the most selfless individuals who works endlessly to ensure that these boys have the support and tools needed for a successful season. Not only does he help out with the CCHL2 Tiki's, he, is also, he also dedicates most Friday nights to helping out at the Braves games. We would like to present the CCHL2 Volunteer Award to Craig Collins. The CCHL2 named David Graham the general manager of the second All-Star team for the 2018-2019 season. David put in an immense amount of time and effort in not only helping to build a strong Junior A team, but also a strong and competitive Junior B team who had an outstanding season. Congratulations, Dave. The Peter Kelly Carefree Pools Trainer's Helper Award. This award is presented by the equipment and training staff to the player who goes above and beyond what is expected of a player. And we now would like to turn the mic over to Noah who has a few words to say. Wow. <laughs> the player we have chosen for the Peter Kelly Carefree Pool Trainer Helper Award. He was always willing to help out around the room from unloading the bus to cleaning the room on an off day because he was bored. He would never complain about helping out with whatever we needed him to do. And that is why we have chosen Chris Brown. For yeah. the yeah. Mokosham Van Line's Most Improved Player. This award is presented to the player who, throughout the course of the season, has shown growth and improvement in their game and has successfully elevated their skill with each passing game. This year's recipient is Christoph Cote. I believe my job was to uh, give a little speech about each award winner. And, um, you know, it was going to be the, the most improved player this year as a second year player, uh, mostly a, a year and a half player. But uh, we're so fortunate that he was able to return to our team and the strides he's made. Um, you know, in the second half, especially in the playoffs, where he elevated to, to a key contributing member on in, in every facet of the game, power play, penalty kill, five on five. Uh, it's a really deserving coach. So uh, big things are expected of him next year, and we're really fortunate to have him in the next season. The Fred Adolph, most sportsmanlike player. 
This award is presented to the player who exemplifies an aspiration at the score and will be enjoyed for its own sake. With the proper consideration for fairness, ethics, respect, and a sense of fellowship for his competitors. Uh, that um, definition sums up this guy. All character, all class, leadership, just true gentleman. Uh, moving on, and um, you know, again, a second year player with Dev and I. Uh, just truly an honor to coach you, uh, Hawker. The Bob Darling Commitment and Volunteer Award. This award is being presented tonight by Bob Darling. This award is given to the player who shows the selfless dedication and passion for the community through volunteering. This person has been involved in community events from day one and is always willing to go the extra mile to ensure the community is receiving support when needed. From volunteering in schools, to helping build squash courts and stingers, to helping out with the tunnel tear night, to helping serve meals for those in need at the local peer church, helping out at BMHA practices and evaluations, to running the clock at the Tiki's games. This person has exemplified the qualities that the Bob Darling Commitment and Volunteer Award stands for. The recipient of the Bob Darling Award being presented by Bob Darling. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I couldn't give this to every one of you boys. Because you know, as I came in the room, I always hit it for all of you. And, uh, hot. Yeah. You know what goes on in the room stays in the room. I couldn't tell them what the other team is for tonight, but. <laughs> the Don Wallace Memorial Award. Don Wallace was a member of the Braves family until his sudden passing in 2006 at the age of 59. Don was always working around the ring to ensure the boys, as well as the fans, were always getting the best experience day in and day out. He often organized fan buses to road games and endless odd jobs around the ring, always with a smile. The Don Wallace Memorial Award is presented to the Braves player who best exemplifies the qualities admired by Don, hard work, commitment, and dedication. And well deserving. Um, this guy approaches the game like a pro. Um, whether it's in practice, his habits, or flawless in the classroom. I've seen him study on the old big bus trip that I was a part of. Um, it's just a true pleasure to be around. I think we can all recognize that uh, Pretty special player in our league, and the awards given to uh, Simon The CCHL Three Star Award. Upon the conclusion of every regular season game in the CCHL, the three stars are given to the players who had an outstanding effort in the game played. This award is handed out annually to the Braves player achieving the highest number of points in the three star selections made at the conclusion of every game. Beather. Especially offensively, so best of luck. Hope you tune in tomorrow to watch your future team in the national championship game. And hope you bring some of the star points to your day. The Dogger Award. We ask the special guests, Jerry and Lynn Dayu, please join us for this special award. Mike Dayu, Dogger, played his minor hockey in Brockville and then with the St. Lawrence Kings organization. Dayu played for the Braves from 1992 to 1996, proudly wearing jersey number 77. He went on to Plattsburgh State to play for the Cardinals. Upon graduating, he returned to Brockville and began teaching at St. Mary Catholic High School. Dayu assisted the Braves coaching staff in several capacities during the 2009-2010 season while battling cancer. He taught outside the classroom, yet the lessons were as valuable for the moment in time. He taught the team to believe 
that this was the motto that carried the 2009-2010 Brockville Braves to the Fred Page Cup Championship and the RBC Cup. Dogger lost his battle with cancer in July of 2010. His widow, Kristen, established the Dogger Award for the Braves graduating player who best exemplifies a passion for the game and has a supremely positive attitude. Both traits that Mike carried during his playoff days and during his battle with cancer. Uh, this guy, um, you know, again, another second year player. Um, he set the bar for us in terms of expectation and pace and competitiveness. Um, we rolled as he rolled. Uh, special player with a bright future ahead of him in the game. Um, our captain, uh, Greg. Good. The Murray Osborne Rookie of the Year. Each season, new players step onto the ice with the weight of the world on their shoulders to prove they can compete with the players who have been playing in this league for years. This award is given to the rookie who most showed how capable he was to play at this level, but also consistency and proof throughout the season to become a deserving and successful player at the Junior A level. This guy was... Uh... We first saw him at the Prospects Camp last year. Um, he wasn't originally slated to come here. Um, but Deb and I had to go to battle against uh, Dusty to, to work him into our lineup. He played in the Spring League, um, the CDHL for us, uh, and was dominant there. He shows flashes pretty consistently of uh, some high, high end offensive talent. He's got, a, as far as I'm concerned, an NHL shot. Um, He's big, he's strong, um, he's working on his consistency, but he's a, a really talented force on the ice. And um, as he grows, the doors open for him, certainly. Um, and it's a pleasure to, to give the award to Nads. The Jim Chapman Best Defenseman. This award is given to the defenseman who demonstrates throughout the season the greatest all-around ability and success in his position. Again, two years, the progression has been incredible. Um, he could be a uh, draft pick in the NHL. He's going on to Penn State. Um, you know, does everything properly. He's a great kid to boot. Uh, no one else there is to say about him, but Simon, uh, congratulations. The Doug Summers Most Valuable Player. This award is given to the player who played an integral role in the team's success throughout the regular season. This award is presented to the player who contributed the most to the team during the season, considering attitude, dedication, skill, leadership, and performance. This was uh, a tough award to choose because so many deserving guys, in our opinion, uh, that just speaks to the character of our team. Um, but the one individual here, uh, at the start of the year, he was lights out and carried on the rest of the year. Um, scored some big, big goals for us. Um, you know, earned his way into a, a Division One scholarship going to one of the best hockey schools in the country. Um, he's he won the top graduate player of the year this year. He does everything for us. Um, and Faber, it's a pleasure to. Uh, The Playoff Most Valuable Player. This award is given to the player who exemplified exceptional skill, performance, dedication, and attitude during the playoffs. You know, I thought in particular his game um, expanded. Uh, he was great in all aspects of it. Um, we'll get credit for leading us in scoring in the playoffs, but I think it was learning the lessons of puck management um, and just. He's a guy who rises up on the games on the line, so, um, Ali, uh, we really appreciate that. So the next award is the Braves Volunteer of the Year Award. It's a split award. Um, 
And just like we watch the players' progression over the course of the year, and the hard work and the commitment to doing things properly, um, so too we recognize uh, two guys out here who, who show up every day. They take a lot of uh, friendly abuse from not only the staff, but the players, and they, they take it on stride. They, they love the boys and the boys love them. Uh, Mitch, Noah, um, thank you for, for everything you do for us. Mitch and Noah, the players would like a speech. Um, it was a great year hanging out with the guys. Love coming, doing everything, so thanks. At this time, we'd ask that all graduating players please come to the front for their final farewell speeches. I don't know. I think uh, these two years in Rockville have honestly been amazing. Um, I can't thank uh, Steve and Kathy enough uh, for everything they did for my family. Um, uh, Jamie just always been there for me, done so much for me. Um, the coaches uh, just assisting me in my growth as a player, developing confidence, becoming a better player, a better person on and off the ice. Um, it's pretty tough for me being so far away from home, but uh, honestly, the community here, uh, second to none, and uh, I'm gonna miss it, so thank you. It's been, it's been quite a ride for me. Uh, I've definitely been around, uh, around here longer than most guys, so just um, growing as a person and a player over these four years has been really special to me from uh, top to bottom. Um, I'll never be more thankful for uh, this community and this city, and I'll never forget it, so thank you. Special shout out to the, the guys we play with every day, um, teammates. Uh, you guys made my last year pretty unforgettable. Coaching staff, uh, you guys have taught me a lot as a player and a person. I, I, I grew in both categories. Um, I want to thank Jamie, uh, JV, Cheryl, all the, all the staff, the volunteers, everybody, fans, the city. Uh, it's been it's been a nice ride. I also want to thank my billets. Uh, opening their home, making it feel, uh, it's a home away from home, and I'm pretty sure everybody on this team when we go over to our place uh, can attest to that. So I just want to thank everybody again for uh, for uh, a great last year, and uh, I'll get out of here. Where's the stool? <laughs> Thank you to coaching staff, uh, all the boys. Okay, in the middle of the year, you guys accepted me, and uh, oh, I don't want to dye my hair with any other people. It's been a hell of a ride. Thank you very much to everyone. It means a lot. Thank you. Last, I'm still, I still don't know what I'm going to say, but um, yeah, I just want to thank everybody who, uh, who I crossed back with uh, during my journey here in Rockville. Uh, special thanks to my teammates who meet every day worth it. Uh, coaches as well. I mean, I think I've really developed a really special relationship here with the coaching staff, and uh, I will never forget it for sure. Uh, my two years here have definitely been special. Um, getting kind of emotional thinking about it, but yeah, I just want to thank you. Thank you.